Danish food culture can be many delicious things, and we all have our own personal favorites. And yet, we are pretty confident that all Danes will agree that rupel is a staple part of Danish food culture. One particular type of food based on this rupel is said to be very traditional and something which can gather all different kinds of people. This is, of course, the smørbrød. And what better place to experience Danish food culture than to visit a local butcher and smørbrød shop here in Aarhus, where a traditional homemade smørbrød is made. We visited Charlottehøj Kød og Smørbrød, which is a family-owned butcher owned by Thomas Thompson. And we talked to Thomas, who is very proud to be the third generation of butchers in his family. Min son er så på vej i lære også, og og det bliver så fjerde generation af slagter i år. Og hvis vi lige tager lidt her henfra, sæsonen er jo grill, og der er lidt for en hver smag, lidt til grill. Kendetegnet det er, at det er til at skal være hjemmelavet. Det er et krav herovre. Gode danske koteletter, marineret ben, alt er, øh, alt er hjemmelavet. Det er specielt svinekød. Og så kommer vi hen til, øh, til de færdelavede. Stjerneskud er øh, virkelig øh, populært, også om sommeren. Hjemmelavede panerede fisk, hjemmelavede marinese og rejesalat, store friske rejer. Kun kars og din frisk tomat med spars. Frikadeller er altid godt i Danmark. Hjemmelavet kalkunfrikadeller, fiskefrikadeller, almindelige fiskefrikadeller eller almindelige frikadeller. Farseret for alle de hjemmelavede salater til, til smørbrødet. Og så har vi pålaget signaturproduktet rullepølse eller fisker, som er 50 år gammel opskrift. Folk de kommer langt meget fra. Der er ikke så mange, der spiser tunge, men vi har det. <laughs> I hjemmelavet spejepølser og skinker. Det er det. Smørbrød is a traditional open-faced sandwich. Originally from the words smør and brød, which means butter and bread. It usually consists of a piece of buttered rye bread topped with cold cuts, pieces of meat or fish, cheese or spreads and beautiful garnishes. Thomas and the rest of his team emphasize the importance of their homemade salads and cold cuts, such as for instance the famous Fiskos Wollepulse, which makes up the toppings of their delicious smørbrød. The amount of different combinations and varieties of smørbrød is basically limitless. And yet, when we asked the smørbrød team at Charlottehøj, they told us that the most popular ones are still the ones with traditional toppings. One example would be the Dyrlæns Netmel. This consists of a piece of dark rye bread with a layer of liver pate, topped with a slice of salted beef and a slice of meat aspic, decorated with raw onions and cress. Continuing with the funny names, a popular smørbrød is called Stjerneskud. This one consists of two pieces of fish, one piece of fried battered fish topped with a piece of steamed fish and its top is piled with shrimps, mayonnaise, caviar and a slice of lemon. Another popular smørbrød is the variety with eggs topped with a layer of mayonnaise and shrimp and this is decorated with cress and dill. Thomas is especially proud of the smørbrød with their homemade traditional fiskos rullepølse and their homemade Italian salad usually topped with tomato and cress. We could go on with so many delicious combinations and toppings, salads and garnishes, but we think the pictures speak for themselves. As we all know, you eat with your eyes first. <laughs>